Now enable Dragon to do what it's going to do in this video. You need to set up Dragon first in the settings. So let me show you how to do this quick. Come up the top, go to Tools, Options at the bottom, Commands, which is second option down. All these boxes here with ticks. I want you to untick the fifth and untick the sixth option down. Just them two untick. Leave everything else as default. Then come to miscellaneous. Make sure you have the microphone on but asleep ticked. Drag the bar where it's more accurate for you. Play around with that, but I find roughly over halfway works quite well with speed and accuracy. Leave everything default, just this last option here. Use the dictation box for unsupported applications. Turn that off. If you want to open up the dictation box, I've got in other videos, you just say open dictation box. Click apply and OK. And now you're ready to follow the video. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you Dragon Professional, but I want to integrate with the options built into Windows by using their shortcut keys. So it's not a steep learning curve. So if you suffer from visual impairment, you'll be able to zoom in and out with the magnifier. You'll be able to bring up websites without touching the keyboard and do a bit of research and have it all read back to you and swap between Microsoft Word or whatever application you're using and the web. But it's quite difficult with visual impairment. What we take for granted is just clicking on an icon and we're good to go by default. But visual impairment, you need to work in a different way. So using the commands, would really speed up your workflow. So I'm going to give it a go today, see how it works. So I'm going to use Magnifier, the basics one, and also going to use Immersive Reader, which is built into Microsoft Edge. You also need a Dragon plugin that you can get free, just, just search online for the plugin. So let's give it a go. Wake up, open Magnifier, switch to Magnifier, press Windows Plus, Open Microsoft Word. New blank document. Switch to magnifier. Press Windows Plus. Switch to Microsoft Word. I am now ready to start my essay on sociology. Full stop. Capitalise Sociology, Italicise Essay, Bold Ready, Underline Start, Select Essay, All Caps That, Go to Beginning, Go to End, Select Line, quote that go to sleep so that works quite well so you can zoom in and out quickly without touching the keyboard and we can also have that read back wake up select line read that I am now ready to start my essay on sociology go to sleep so there's one option. So you're dictating and you're working within a document. Also remember, whatever you say, it will open. So all your tabs at the top, if you say review, view, will open those tabs. And after a while, get used to saying them rather than looking for them. Now I want to look at going online, Microsoft Edge, and then having information read back to you as part of your research. Now you can only do this with standard websites, HTML. But you have got an option actually, when you can download online PDFs, open them up, just like you would any other document in Word, and it converts it using the OCR into a Word format. Manipulate and read back those documents in the Word for you as well. But I want to try and see if I can go online first, find an article, and then I'll also do a PDF and show you how that works. So I'm going to try and use the headset as much as possible if I had visual impairment. Wake up. Unselect that. Open Microsoft Edge. Psychology Wikipedia. Press enter. Switch to magnifier. Press Windows minus. 
switch to Microsoft Edge, scroll down, go to sleep. Now I forget myself sometimes, you need to switch between applications. So as you said, I was in magnifier focus and when I said scroll down, it didn't want to know. So you've got to switch. So switch to magnifier, switch to Microsoft Word or even switch to Microsoft Edge. Wake up. Click personality psychology Wikipedia. Go to sleep. Now in a document, we can zoom in and out, but you might still struggle with seeing the text. So why don't we use the built-in option in Microsoft Edge called Immersive Reading to simplify it and read it back for us. Now I'm going to try the best I can using the headset. I've added no commands to this or macros. I'm just using standard shortcuts that are built into Windows. Wake up. Switch to Microsoft Edge. Enter Immersive Reading. Press Control Shift U. Personality Psychology. Personality Psychology is a branch of psychology that examines personality and its variation among individuals. It aims to show how people are individually different due to psychological forces. Point one its areas Press of control focus include. Shift U. Go to sleep. So I've just used the shortcut keys to stop and start it. So again, if you still can see some of the text, we could zoom in a bit more, couldn't we? Wake up. Switch to magnifier. Press Windows Plus. Press Windows Minus. Go to sleep. So there's another form of reading online, so you don't have to touch the keyboard. Now we're going to look at an option where you're dealing with journals online. So I'm going to use Dragon again so we can download a journal and open it up in Microsoft Word. Now I would recommend though zooming in and doing it manually if you can to save time as well, which I will do during this tutorial. So first thing I'll do, I'm going to zoom out, wake up, press Windows minus, go to sleep. So I'm going to do a new search and see if I can find a journal. Wake up. Switch to Microsoft Edge. New tab. Google Scholar. Press Enter. Switch to Magnifier. Press Windows Plus. Switch to Magnifier. Press Windows Minus. Switch to Microsoft Edge. Scroll down. Scroll up. Click Google Scholar. Choose one. Switch to Magnifier. Press Windows Plus. Switch to Microsoft Edge. Psychology. Press Enter. Click Psychology and Culture. Go to sleep. So there we go. We've now brought up a journal to work with. Now we've got the journal open, we've got a few options. I want to show you the download option where you can convert it through Microsoft Word. As it's text, it gives you more scope to navigate. But if we try and read it back as it is, it will just read back what it sees from the very top. So remember the shortcut key, make sure you've got Enter Immersive Reader is on. So you say Enter Immersive Reader to make sure it's on. Enter Immersive Reader. Press Control Shift U. The, the 19th of November 2003, 1934 AR AR207 PS 55-24.txt AR207 PS 55-24.sgm latex 2E.
go to sleep. So it's an option to read back a document, but it'll read back the whole PDF for you, and there's many pages in there. So I reckon converting it will be one of your best options to work with. We're going to have a look at that now. Press Control S. Save. Go to sleep. So again, I'm using shortcut key, Control S. So remember, just think of the shortcut keys if you know them. Just use them and say them, and they will work for you. So now I want to switch back to Microsoft Word. Wake up. Switch to Microsoft Word. File tab. Go down to. Browse. Downloads. Now I would say here, it gets a bit awkward when you will start selecting documents, which you can do, but I would zoom in because you might have many documents saved. Switch to magnifier. Switch to magnifier. Press Windows Plus. Go to sleep. I would actually do it manually to make sure you get the correct file you want. So worth zooming in and using that. I'm just going to zoom out with magnifier. Wake up. Switch to magnifier. Press Windows minus. Press Windows minus. Press Windows plus. Go to sleep. So there we go. We've now got a document. I'm going to scroll up and down. You can now work with, and that was a PDF. So at the top, you can actually say if you want, enable editing. So there's a couple of inputs you might have to do manually, but most of it, you can use the headset. And you might find other ways around it. You're working. Just be intuitive with your commands and shortcuts. Wake up. Enable editing. Go to sleep. And there we go. Go to sleep. And there we go. You've now got the whole document in a Word format for you to work with. So again, we can start zooming in and out with the magnifier. We can use the built-in read options as well. You could use drag and to select and read back as well. So let me give you a demonstration. Wake up. Select paragraph. Read that. 0066-430-8-04-0204-0208-0608-0608-0608-0608-0608-0608-0608-0608-0608-0608-0608-0608-0608-0608-0608-0608-0608-0608-0608-0608-0608-0608-0608-0608-0608-0608-0608-0608-0
go to sleep. So there's a quick video if you struggle with visual impairment and incorporating Dragon with the built-in options on Windows 11. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.